and uh, South Florida. Florida LGBTQ plus Democratic Caucus holds winter conference to say, let's change Florida. The 2023 Winter Conference of the Florida LGBTQ plus Democratic Caucus is here, and it's going to be held at the Renaissance Airport Hotel in Orlando to say, let's change Florida. The conference will be held from Friday, February 24th through Sunday, February 26th. The in-person event with a virtual live stream option will bring together activists, allies, advocates, candidates, elected officials, and policymakers for a weekend of planning and networking. The importance of this event increases after the 2022 midterm elections. The conference says we must rise up together now more than ever here in Florida. Stephen Gaskell, president of the Florida LGBTQ plus Democratic Caucus, said, quote, the contrast of visions for Florida cannot be any starker. While Democrats work to lift up and support the diverse community of Floridians, Republicans shamefully hurt their own constituents with culture war attacks designed to distract from Republican in action or economic issues, end quote. In addition, the conference will host a membership meeting and a Saturday evening cocktail reception. It will close on Sunday morning with a farewell drag brunch featuring local drag queens. There is no charge to register for the membership meeting. However, registration is important. Conference registration includes the Friday welcome reception, Saturday's continental breakfast, and Saturday's lunch. The tickets are available on lgbtqdems.org. I've done oh, four or five of these mm. conference meetings, caucus meetings in Florida. They're incredibly important. I don't think ever more than today. Um, because, uh, frankly, in the midterm elections, with all of the hope, we talked about it over and over and over ad nauseum. Uh, you and I talked about it over and over and over at Queer News Tonight. Uh, the Democrats got their asses handed to them in the midterms. The fortunate thing is not nationally as badly as in Florida. Does that mean DeSantis and Marco Rubio are better than the rest of the nation? No. Or we're just a little crazier here. That, that verdict is still out uh, to decide. But uh, one of the things that I think is important this week, uh, we were discussing this, Manny Diaz, uh, who has spoken at multiple uh, of these LGBT uh, conferences, has resigned and should have. Um, the one shame of his announcement this week of resigning is he didn't do it two months ago uh, when the midterms were so fresh. Mm -hmm. He has led Florida and the Florida Democrats into literally a burning barn and closed the door behind himself. Um, that needs to change now. And if uh, 2024, oh goodness, in January of the second week of January, are we talking about 2024 yet? Mm -hmm. Let's try not to, maybe. Um, but at the end of the day, we know what's coming. Donald Trump's coming from Florida, or Ron DeSantis is coming from Florida. So where is politics in 2024 going to be front and center in America? Florida. Florida. And we sit right in the front of it. And we have one for sure that is going to use the LGBTQ committee, uh, community as the crushing blow to show America, here's what a culture war gets you. Maybe the president of the United States. This caucus is very important. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy to see that he resigned. Um, you know, I think there's other democratic organizations that also need to have some mm -hmm. exorcisms out there um, exorcisms. That's a great word. um because i do think that you know having a conference is great but we need people that are real activists that are on the ground um you know i, I would say here in south florida you know an organization like save was much more present for the election than any other democratic organization that i saw mm. um and that's not what should be happening. Um, and we need to have an actual organ organizing body of the Democratic, not just LGBTQ, but, but yes, LGBTQ in addition, need to be more organized yeah. and have a vision for how to get voters out. And not just LGBTQ voters, voters that support LGBTQ That's people. Exactly right. and Our I think, allies. And allies. And you know, sometimes I think that you know, at a conference like this, and we can all, we've all been to these events, we're preaching to a choir, and that's not who we should be talking to, mm. in my opinion. And I think more importantly, we need to reach out as a Democratic Party in general. We need to reach out more to a more diverse electorate. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, Ron sure. DeSantis won Miami through the Hispanic vote. Oh yeah, no question. So 
what are we doing wrong there? Why, uh, why are the Hispanic community running against us? I mean, some, some of it can be chalked up to historical and cultural factors, but we are also letting, you know, if Hispanic evangelicals and Hispanic talk radio and we have to spread misinformation and propaganda and we have nothing to counter them. And, and you know, I, just one other thought. Well, we're going to go on and talk about Disney. But one other thought, um, the reason why they're successful at that is the Democrats mm -hmm. and maybe the LGBTQ community do not do a good job of uh, of you, you know the game bullshit mm -hmm. and, and playing the game bullshit. We don't do a good job of going bullshit. Um, we we've seen this in Florida over and over and over again. Okay, um, the the Republicans have what an eight seat majority now in the House. Mm -hmm. um, all right, they have the majority. Uh, what is the exact first thing that uh, the MAGA squad who talks about fiscal conservative balancing the budget? Uh, cutting back military spending, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What is the first thing that they're going to introduce? Indeed. They're going to introduce, well, besides the political side, the, IRS. the first thing that they're going to do is attack the IRS moves. <laughs> and, and the moves of what they're going to do on the change of the IRS has, according to the Congressional Budget Office, which is non-political and independent, says that change will increase the deficit between 140 and 164 billion dollars. That's the first action the economic hawks want to do. Mm -hmm. Lie, 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 win the election. Bullshit. And we need strong leaders to help educate the populace and the voting public and the LGBTQ community and all of the related ally groups that we have to go, this is what they're doing, and they're doing it for their own power and their own money, and you lose. And that's what, I, to me, when you say that, you hit a bullseye, but that's what we don't do. And, and Republicans, are, as you said, are very, have become very uh, the party of lower income voters. And, you know, lower income voters, the IRS isn't coming for you. Well, <laughs> they're coming, you know, the, the, so, so they it started they, an they've... enforcement over $200,000. Uh, you know, but they're uh, easy to scare. That's the point. yeah. Like you're, 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 get... you know, you're you're not you're not the target of the IRS. And they, I think, on that same news story about that, it's that the uh, amount of audits for for millionaires has declined by some <laughs> astronomical number. But, but you've got to give it to them. They have sold it so sold well. It. Yeah, and 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 lower income people think, oh, the IRS is going to come for me. You don't have any. There's no reason for the IRS to come for you. <laughs> you don't make enough. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.